So the new Mazda 6 2019 uh, Tourer Estate or Combi, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, or here in Switzerland the Mazda 6 SV. It's right here in front of me, and I will uh, be happy to review it for you. The interior, exterior. I will talk a little bit about. Uh, the car, the technology, um, also the infotainment system and I hope you will enjoy it. So first of all, um, in the back, uh, also if you are from Switzerland, you can come at Belvag Auto in Bern, also on the internet online belvag.ch, there you can find uh, the newest test auto from Mazda and not only the new and also second-hand auto they have great price and uh, also big discounts like on this Mazda 6 right here in front of me so now let's start with the back we have uh, some plastic um, mat down here where are the parking sensors as well so we have four parking sensors in the back and also a back camera. Uh, the back of the car look very beautiful as well. This LED light in the back look uh, amazing. The side of the car, uh, again, simple design like the new Mazda 3 or uh, all the newest is Mazda that come. Uh, these days are very, very nice with a beautiful design. Also, these rims. Uh, are one of my favorite they look fantastic on these cars uh, on this car on Mazda 6 and also the chrome around the, the windows look amazing the tinted window big window great visibility from the interior we will go there in a moment and uh, you will see what I'm talking about up here you can add an extra truck um, and uh, it's quite quite practical this car too not only beautiful but it's also very practical car now from the side look at the back of the car look the shape the shape are so nice it has such a beautiful shape and also the front uh, we will go there as well to see from the side the car look uh, fabulous in my opinion it's it's very beautiful car also the handle here we have a small button there uh, you can also open and close the car only by pushing the button uh, and having the key in your pocket we have blind spot there in the corner of the mirror on the Mazda you cannot see it so well but it's a sign there if you look closely so the car have blind spot technology as well uh, when you want to change the lanes the interior is also fabulous with leather and uh, it's it's nice 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 here the windows uh, the, the mirrors I mean sorry with the blinker on the side also um, let's check out the front light for a bit but uh, first time look at the shape look the shape of the car it's so simple just a little bit of lines and edges there and the car look uh, amazing amazing it's it's simple and in the same time amazing and this LED light in the front it's like a crystal you can see that little tiny uh, dot of light uh, make this light look like a crystal light and how the chrome design come direct to the other side it's, it's amazing the designer of uh, Mazda, uh, they are very very good uh, on their job and they do it fantastic. Also I like um, I like the front grille, in the front we have another four sensors, parking sensors, uh, the night fr f nice front grille here, it's really beautiful and it's really beautiful how, how they choose to make these lines, you can see these horizontal lines gray glossy uh, they look fantastic they look li really good uh, in my opinion um, one of the most beautiful front 
even this this part here the front of the hood it's really simple but in the same time beautiful up there we have a camera to read the the lanes and the traffic sign the speed limit and all that new technology also uh, you can see from the side that that front of the Mazda it's, it's amazing it looks like an angry sporty car um, in my opinion all that uh, that design make the car look much more angry and sportier and also down here we have some paint so normal paint uh, directly down so no plastic there uh, also the chrome in the back it's nice uh, there in the middle here is the camera that I'm telling before we have normal uh, yellow light on the number plate so no LED there uh, also opening the trunk is the same trunk like you see on uh, CX-5 there SUV uh, it's beautiful design with this uh, if you see on my other videos I show you before this part protect a protection for the trunk in other cars it's different uh, in this car it's like that so they choose to put this this uh, this thing up so you don't have to take it out all the time you know in other cars you pull it like that but in this car it's directly up and it's go automatic down and up every time you open the trunk or when you close it, it goes down, so it's very practical. Uh, if you don't have an extra hand, that will do automatic for you. So this is really great. Down here, you go directly into the trunk. We have some uh, aluminum here to protect the paint, uh, the plastic, and also uh, directly flat there. It is a huge, huge trunk. And also you can take this out from here. There's no problem when you need more space. Uh, you can take it out very easily 12 volt port here on the trunk on the side very useful uh, also another space down there to put your stuff again uh, a lot of space in the left side here up we have some hooks and this is the the handle that all that lift the seat down I'll show you in a moment and on the other side the other uh, seat and uh, again here we have the speakers we have speakers uh, on both sides uh, up there close to the to the small window in the back now let's show you how this work so you have to pull it and then it go all the way down but I think the front seat it's too much in the back so normally it should go like in the right uh, right side directly flat so we have directly flat floor here huge space huge huge space in this uh, Mazda 6 estate now you can see for yourself uh, how much space it is uh, and also I think you have a lot of space down there on the legs so you can put some extra stuff there uh, pretty nice and also the space in the interior of the car we have another two ball light there normal yellow light uh, I prefer the LED but uh, I guess it's okay it's not so important also nice nice interior with big windows on the side almost no blind spot in this car and this part as I say you can also take it out uh, if you need to carry uh, bigger items there like a mobile or like a fridge or something like that it is really really useful anyway um, I hope you make an idea uh, about the trunk here we have the light in the trunk very interesting uh, how they chose to, to put the light up there so it's illuminate all the trunk it's very smart the way they put it now Put it back the seat it's very simple you just have to uh, yeah but first time I need to put the front seat a little bit in the front uh, we also have electric seat there because this the front seat it's way in the back too much in the back 
so anyway we have leather in the interior and also we have uh, armrest here in the middle really beautiful armrest great quality finishing also we have the uh, heated seat in the back a really great feature in this car um, in the winter for kids if you have kids in the back of the car um, they will feel amazing um, not to be uh, freezing anyway uh, now the entrance in the car it's also very big big windows tinted windows here up here we have a soft material I think it's a rubber or something like that not sure but anyway it is soft now going down the handle is simple and chrome going down here we have a leather brown leather with stitches you can see the color in the video the brown uh, look nice I never never see before uh, this color in the car interior and I see a brown but a little bit uh, the, the color was a little bit brighter here it's a dark brown and it look nice also this chrome design down there uh, look nice around the, the button there really interesting and here space for a bottle and the speaker uh, really cool interesting the way they do the doors uh, look nice and fancy a really great quality and it is a premium premium uh, car in my opinion uh, it's in the top five uh, car in this class anyway the seats are great you can see the holes there in the middle also uh, great quality adjustable uh, headrest there and they also look nice in the front of the back seat we have this leather no plastic to protect the seat there here in the middle we have the vents uh, very beautiful with the chrome uh, around there and no other things like USB or stuff um, it's just a simple simple uh, thing there in the middle we have a big step um, for staying in the middle will be a little bit tricky but now let's see how much space we have you can see for yourself a lot of space on my knee also I can stretch my legs under the front seat I have a lot of space there uh, I can move my legs uh, wherever I want for long trip this is great also my head space it's it's amazing huge space on my head um, you can see for yourself closing the door uh, great visibility on the windows also a handle and a hook up here uh, pretty pretty useful and the windows look fantastic great visibility on the windows um, and great comfort um, you will be very happy in this car on long trip no doubt going in the middle it's a little bit tricky as I say uh, but I still have a lot of space because of this big step there uh, big step and up here we have four finger uh, and a lot of space in my head so no problem uh, for space here in the middle as well I have a lot of space in the left in the right side so three people will stay in this car without any problem it's actually uh, very comfortable the seat in the middle it's too comfortable now uh, the design of the dashboard it's it's really beautiful uh, it's look fantastic it's fancy it's new it's uh, good quality and this leather the way they, they design the leather and the the lines are uh, fabulous I'm I'm really amazed by the Mazda designers and uh, the way they do the cars it's really interesting um, really really interesting uh, they make very beautiful cars now here are the front door uh, almost the same as in the back same 
uh, quality materials up here uh, the chrome handle also going down with this leather beautiful leather there down here as well very soft uh, soft leather there and here we have the buttons chrome design buttons with chrome a little bit here and there they make this look much better and much more fancy and desirable so uh, it is a nice design also the speaker are both great quality and uh, if you notice uh, uh, it, the sound is fantastic in the car also here we have some plastic on the entrance on the car um, and we have just a little step there so you go in the car very easy electric seats as well with save position we have two position of saving um, as well as responsive great side support great quality as in the back in the front as well they look gorgeous they look very nice and you can see for yourself too how, how this side support it's amazing when you drive the car uh, on long roads it's, it's, it's fantastic anyway uh, we go forward down here we have a small place for whatever you want to put it uh, the buttons with new technology sensors um, lane assist uh, some plastic around it here we have the leather with the stitches and again beside there the vents with some chrome design the vents feel good quality when you touch it also uh, soft materials here dashboard with stitches really nice really nice design head up display there up here it's the head up display um, on the glass not on the screen also great great soft quality uh, on the dashboard the vents look nice uh, the design come with this gray 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 plastic uh, directly to the middle and here we have the start stop button um, up here uh, very nice as well going down we have the same leather stitches under the vents look how nice they integrate the vents in the leather something that it's, it's quite super nice uh, in my opinion it's very very beautiful and they did a great job with that uh, and also this leather go all the way to the door uh, very nice really really nice it's look nice going down here uh, we have a glove box quite big a lot of space no no light here so um, but it's very big if you wonder how the key it's looking like I have the key right here in my hand and I try to to show you these nice chrome buttons on it that they look very nice as well we have heated steering wheel heated seats buttons are right here under the dashboard also a climatic system right here down uh, very nice with chrome uh, around the buttons under there uh, also the cd player here if you want to use a cd you can put it here down here you also have a space for your phone 12 volt port and uh, very useful space here in the front now on the side of this uh, center console we have again the leather with nice stitches uh, they look really premium really nice they work a lot of this uh, dashboard the stick here in the middle i prefer it to be with buttons like on uh, hyundai i see and uh, i see on ford as well the buttons uh, i wish this stick will be no more there and just the buttons when you have an electric car anyway electric parking uh, brake and here are the amazing one of the best uh, controller for 
infotainment system it's right here in 10 centimeter you can you can uh, you can use it very simple when you drive it while you're driving it's don't take your attention from the road so it's very easy to to adjust different settings and to change different settings so it's it's very good infotainment but we will talk about this too two usb down here also the card sd card port down there um, if you want to use it in the car uh, and as well the leather uh, on the armor is there look also nice going forward uh, to the steering wheel steering wheel it's leather great quality great grip is the same steering wheel that i have on my car on audi a3 and it's really great it's really amazing i'm really happy with it in the winter as well in the summer also the nice buttons with chrome around it really nice really beautiful also chrome down here um the steering will look fantastic sorry about out of focus but the camera have wrong setting today <laughs> but i i forget about it to change it anyway now the door the integrate great visibility uh, from the driver point of view uh, you can see for yourself uh, how it's look like in the back also no blind spot in the back for such a big car it's really impressive also the car have a uh, back camera so no worry about that you can park the car uh, without any problem um, yeah, even if the visibility is it's great you can park it uh, without any problem at all now uh, i think everything looks perfect and compact in this car and also something really great is this glass holder up here in my opinion a uh, great great uh, thing that they put it mirror with the with the light there great quality on the roof it's soft and nice uh, also the the digital cockpit there we have uh, and here infotainment system also the new infotainment system that you find on the newest is a car from Mazda it's also on this car and with this wheel here in the middle as I say before you can control everything you have a few buttons for shortcut a back and forward and with this wheel here you can control everything in this infotainment system now the colors if you see my other videos with the Mazda uh, my other review cars you know about this infotainment because it's the same as you see on uh, other new Mazdas so it's great it's, it's it has great brightness also here is a climatic system with the uh, digital display also nice nice quality and simple to use uh, really really uh, useful now uh, let's go back again and talk about uh, the infotainment system you have plenty of of settings here that you can change from the audio system to the time to the information about the car for example blinkers and the um, rain sensors and all that stuff the bluetooth the language the temperature uh, the miles or kilometers the way you want it the way you prefer it depending what country you are the language you can change also uh, sound system uh, settings and uh, security settings for example adaptive cruise control and all that stuff lane assist and all that stuff you can also use the screen as a touch screen if you want so this is a plus uh, that you can uh, touch the screen and and uh, play in the menu so but I, I find it much more easier and faster uh, if you use the wheel in the, cen in the center the hand will stay in the perfect position of driving and you can pay attention to the road and at the same time you can adjust different settings uh, the system it's well well think uh, they think a lot of, uh, about it and it's great and also you find it on Audi 
and BMW so it's something that it's it's very very uh, well uh, designed as I say so also the navigation system it's fantastic great maps uh, it's very responsive it has also 3D, 2D, depend how you want to look it. You have a uh, connection to the internet, uh, depend where you want to go. Um, it's very simple to use. Everybody can use it. And um, yeah, I like it. I like it very much. As I say on my other review, I like it. And also in this car, you have great, great visibility. And everything is in perfect place from the driver point of view. Uh, this car it's well designed. This is the, the, the word well, very well designed and very good quality. Everything it's it's great, great, great design and in the perfect place. Now here you know the info button. If you push it, you can change different settings in the display there. In the digital display in the front you can see there in the middle we have a normal standard uh, speedometer and in the left we have the tourometer and in the right we have the digital display where you choose different settings for example now is navigation they give you different information and they show you some arrows uh, the way you want to go the way you must go depend on where you set the navigation system now the comfort in the car uh, on the seat it's amazing as expected in this seat also um, great position of driving a lot of space um, a lot of good comfort here so the car uh, it's amazing it's really amazing I really like it also if you want to see the, the engine I will show you now I don't know how many people are interested to see the engine, but uh, anyway, I will show you. Here, we don't have automatic um, trunk, so it's just manual, and with one hand, it's kind of complicated to open this, but I still try it. Oh, it's a very heavy. I don't know uh, why it's so heavy, but here is the engine, is the Sky Active technology. Uh, you know what's that the engine will recuperate the energy while it's braking while it's going downhill and the, all the energy go in the battery and then you can use it later for uh, lights or for all the electrics in the car so um, that was my review with the new Mazda 6 uh, Tourer Estate Combi SV uh, 2019 the way you want to call it and I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope it was helpful, my video, guys. And please subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, to like my video, share it with your friend. Um, and check out my other videos as well on the channel. Check out the Facebook page as well uh, with the same name. And um, again, uh, here are some information about the car. Uh, we have uh, 2.5, it's a, it's a big engine with 192 horsepower, but it's in the same time very, very light car, only 1450 kilograms. For such a big car with such a big engine, it's really impressive. How, how light is this car? So big space and so light. So 32,000 is the price, amazing price for this car. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel and see you soon, guys.